the good one and the evil one. One day, the evil one went on foot on a long journey. He was very tired and could hardly drag his feet. On the pathway, the good one caught up with him, riding on horseback. They talked and learned that they were heading to the same place. Put me in the back, asked the evil one. I got very tired. It will be hard for a horse to carry two, replied the good one. Let's do this. I will give you a seat. You ride over to that tree and leave your horse there and then keep walking yourself. I'll come up, get on the horse and catch up with you again. We will ride the same horse in course. The evil one sat on a horse and rode ahead and the good one followed him on foot. He comes up to a tree. But there is no horse. The evil one cheated on him and rode where he needed to. The road the good one kept walking on. He entered the dense forest. He sees there is a shack and decides to rest there. There was no one in the shack, but meat was being cooked in a huge cauldron. The good one was surprised. The master is not there, but dinner is being cooked. Wonderful. The traveler dipped his finger into the cauldron, tasted dinner, and climbed onto the roof of the shack to sleep. Before he could close his eyes, a wolf, a fox, and a lion opened the door. Oh, oh, concerned the fox, someone tried our lunch. No one ate it, the lion comforted her. The beasts began to lunch and tell how they spent their time. Fox says, in one abundant wintering, I found a treasure, a pot full of gold is buried in the ground. I'll have to go and guard him. And Wolf says, Bay's beautiful daughter is ill. Her father promised to give her in marriage to someone who would cure her. And I know the right remedy for the disease. There is a motley sheep in the Bay's flock. If cut out her heart and rub it on the girl's body, she will become healthy. So I got it a motley ship today. Then the lion starts telling. Every night I take one, of, one horse away from the base herd. The owner doesn't know who's doing it. He promised to give the whole herd of horses to whoever caught the thief. I am not afraid. Not a single horse will catch up with me. But in the herd there is one small ginger fall. Only he alone can catch up with me. The animals had dinner and went to sleep. In the morning they left the shack. The good one left too. He took out the face healer's clothes, came to the bay and said, I can cure your daughter. Bay rejoiced and invited him into the yard. The good one ordered to catch a motley sheep and cut out her heart. He rubbed it on the girl's body and she recovered. The good one married her and went to look 
for the old abandoned wintering, what the fox had told about. He dug out a pot of gold and went to the bay, the owner of the horse herd. What you will give me if I will catch the tea thief which burrows every night your horses? asked the good one. I, I will give you the whole herd of horses, promised Bay. The good one came to the herd, saddled a little ginger fall, and started waiting for the lion. At night, the lion sneaked up, grabbed a horse and rushed into the step. The good one started chasing him, caught up with him and killed him. On the next day, he got a herd of horses from the bay and took it to his all. One year passed, and the good one met the evil one. The good one now was rich, and evil was a pauper. Only an old turn rope covered his naked body, and shreds of dirty cotton wheels stuck out of the malahai. I am sorry I am wronged you said the evil one. I stole your horse, but it did not bring me wealth. And you got rich without a horse. How did you get such abundance? The good one told him how he got into the shack, told how he had eavesdropped on the conversation of the beast and how he had benefited from what he had heard. The evil one said goodbye and hurried into the forest. He found the shack about which the good one spoke. He saw boiled meat in a cauldron, ate to hell, washed down with chorba and climbed on the roof to rest. Soon a wolf and a fox came to the shack. The fox looked into the cauldron and screamed, Oh, oh, someone ate our lunch. They began to look for a glutton and found him on the roof. And here death came to the evil one.